Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel so today we're going to be doing a, another Skyrim video guys so in one of our latest videos we got the speech skill from 1 to 100 in a matter of minutes so uh, today we're going to be showing you how to get your alchemy up a very very fast to level 100 this one does need a bit more preparation than the speech one but once we've got it prepared it is literally nearly instantaneous to level 100 so what we want to do to get our alchemy up to level 100 as fast as possible we want to just spam uh, the creation of potion of uh, fortify health now it's kind of a difficult potion to make but once you know where all three of the ingredients are uh, there really isn't much to it I'm going to show you where the location is to all three of these ingredients and also uh, afterwards I'm going to show you a bit of a trick so you can buy all three of the ingredients anyway uh, these ingredients are giant's toes creep cluster and wheat so uh, the hardest one by far is the giant toes uh, giants are quite hard to kill if you're low level it's pretty much impossible so I recommend that you wait until I tell you how you can buy these but anyway if you are high enough level and you feel brave enough to go and kill a giant all you want to do is head to any of these mammoth camps and there's normally one or two giants laying around and they will give you a giant's toe guaranteed uh, just do that quite a bit of time so you can go around the map clearing them out once you've got the hang of it it's not too hard as long as you're high enough level uh, anyway, the second ingredient we want is the creep cluster, which is a plant you can find very, very commonly around this area of the map where all the hot springs are. There's literally, I, I literally in about 10 minutes probably picked about 40 of them up. And uh, if you wait 10 days, or in game 10 days uh, in a different area, they will all respawn. So there's like really, really easy to get. And lastly, what we want is wheat, and wheat is another ingredient that's really, really easy to get. All we have to do is go to any of the farms around the map. Uh, normally, it's at least one or two outside each major city, and just take all the wheat. So you can go around the map and get a lot, a lot of wheat. So once we've got all three of these ingredients, uh, quite a lot of these three ingredients, obviously, because we want to make more than one potion. So what you want to do is go to any of these alchemy shops. I'm going to go to the one in White Run, which is probably the, one, the first ones you can go to in the game um, and what we want to do is we want to talk to her and if she has not got any of the items obviously if she has got them which uh, normally she will at least have one of the items one of the ingredients just buy it if she hasn't got any of the ingredients what you want to do is quick save the game in front of her so what you want to do now is just attack her and load the save you just uh, quick saved and this will uh, refresh her inventory so now there is possibility that she will have some of these ingredients obviously this is going to cost you a bit of money um, but yeah it's the way you buy them obviously it's going to cost you money so uh, also this NPC can uh, train you five levels per each player level so this is really good as well because what you can do is get up the five levels and then pickpocket the gold back or just do a quick save before pickpocket and just in case it fails and with this method and uh, creating this potion of fortify health uh, you will get that in no time just by spamming this potion obviously to make this process uh, a lot faster you want to go and activate the thieves stone at the start of the game and also you can get the well rested uh, passive ability by resting in your bed or in an inn's bed and obviously uh, you're going to level up doing this by spamming the potion so once you level up you can get another five levels from the NPC and so on and so forth I believe after level 75 the NPC can't train you anymore but it's a really good method but yeah um, a mixture of these two methods will definitely get you to level 100 in no time so yeah guys hopefully this was helpful if it was please go like and subscribe remember you can follow me on Twitter you can support the channel more directly on Patreon which is much appreciated and we'll see you next time guys